All right. For those of y'all that know me, you know, like, this is stepping way out of my character. But I was reading, like, I've been writing so much now that it's insane. And, of course, somebody will call my phone right now. So, hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just had to get that. But I was reading, like, I'm doing a lot of writing now. So, I have two blogs now because, like, I'm going out of my mind. Um, but... I was reading some of the old stuff that I write because on one of my blogs I'm going to start sharing some of the old stuff that I wrote um, and I have to finish my books too but I was reading one of these old things that I wrote on a Facebook note and I was reading it and the character just came like straight into my mind <laughs> um, I'm a you can see what I'm talking about but it's two different characters the note I can't remember what the name of the note is um, the battle between the head and the heart. That's what the note was. But I'm going crazy. So um, just know. But l listen. Listen to my um, what I wrote. It is my choice to give my heart to her. Your choice, you make it sound like you're choosing between an apple and an orange. Love should be something you feel from your heart. Not conditioned for your heart to believe in. Is my love not stronger, not more rational, when my head and my heart unite to love just one person, to dedicate myself to just her, to ignore the constitution that my heart must feel like a giddy schoolboy who floats on the air just by a first kiss? I have made up my mind that all my kisses belong to her, and whether her heart beats faster with my lips pressed against hers is irrelevant. My heart will be satisfied enough to know that it merely beats alone, is just for her, and it will be, as you say, conditioned to believe it. You're being too rational. Love is not that simple. Love is not a choice. Is it not? Would you rather me be in a passionate love story that dies the moment that any ounce of reality makes a presence into our lives to prove that it will not always be perfect? I have chosen to be conscious and not in a clouded world when love, and I am being forsaken. Is that your love for me? Perfect until I stray from the norm, passionate as long as I ignore my own beliefs. That's not what I meant. What do you mean then? Help me to understand your objection. I don't object to love. What I object to is the thought that you've made love a choice. I've always known love to be something you feel, not something you are choosing to feel. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't want you to get hurt if she doesn't feel the way that you do. She doesn't have to. And that's what I need you to understand. My choice to love her does not require a doting damsel in transient feelings. My choice to love her is my own. I have made up my mind for my heart to follow. I can wait if it would take two lifetimes to have her love all my own. That's what I'm afraid of. That's what I'm not. So the two characters like just came in my mind as I was reading that and since I have to step out of the box a little bit more That's what I'm trying to do Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys So Island Girl, this is going to probably be shared more in Island Girl Chronicles than on my other blog Because my other blog has a specific purpose But Island Girl Chronicles is sharing like old things that I've written on things um, growing up back in the island So definitely this is going to be shared on that blog But Oh, just wanted to show you guys, share that with you. I'm um, going to be sharing more 2018. Huh. We'll see what happens. But yeah. Bye.